What's up, y'all? I just wanted to uh, tell you guys a story that I went through today, and I wanted to get your feedback to see if you would have done the same thing, or maybe I'm just bugging. Right now, it's about 12.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I had two functions to attend. Both were probably about 30, 40 minutes away from me with the traffic, and so I'm deciding what I want to wear, and it should be a no-brainer. I should be wearing something do mode. I have all these t-shirts that you can see right here. I have these t-shirts in more colors. You've probably seen them if you visited my site at some point in time or you've seen my Instagram and all these colors, all these shirts, right? It should be a no-brainer. I just pick one of those and go. I decided that I'm just gonna rock whatever, you know, something new, something different. I wear a Dumo shirt all the time. They see the videos, they're probably tired of seeing Dumo, right? I'm driving, I'm on the highway, I'm probably about 10 minutes away from where I need to be. I sat through all the traffic. I was already late because I'm always late. I'm just mad at myself while I'm driving though. I'm like, I should not have worn this shirt. And I had some other shirt that wasn't do mode. It was just a regular shirt. I'm thinking to myself, why am I wearing this and not wearing my do mode shirt? Is because I think people are tired of hearing me talk about do mode. That's a terrible reason to not be wearing this shirt. And especially when I have vest invested all of this time, all of this effort into getting these shirts made and then getting them shipped and all this stuff and finding the right material and which kind of shirt I like and all this stuff, I should be wearing it every day, regardless. Who cares of what other people feel? This is my shirt. And most times, they can care less what kind of shirt I have on. So I gotta be wearing my shirt. I, I just, I figure I gotta be wearing my shirt. So I get to a point where, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm already late. I turned around. I hopped off the highway, got right back on the exit, went back home, changed shirts, brought some backup shirts just in case, some other do mode shirts that just were different colors, drove all the way back down, and I'm so glad I wore the shirt. I'm so glad I wore the shirt because I sold about four shirts just from people seeing me with this shirt on. And I know four shirts might not be a lot to you. I don't know if you're a small business or you've been booming shirts or whatever, but four shirts is a lot to me. That wouldn't have happened had I not been wearing my shirt. And that's just a testament to be true to yourself and stay true to your brand. And I don't even like calling Dumo the brand, but I mean, let's face facts, it is at this point. And it's basically just, if I wasn't wearing this shirt, people wouldn't have come up to me recognizing the, the shirt that they've seen before. And they wouldn't have asked to where they can buy it. And you know, I showed them and they bought it right there on the spot. And I even sold the ones that were in my car. All in all, I spent another hour in the car that I could have easily avoided if I just would have left the shirt on that I went out with not thought twice about it, just went to a function and say hi to friends or whatever, but you're a walking billboard. You have to rock your brand. If you don't rock your brand, who else will rock your brand? Though hashtag do mode is not a t-shirt company, but it's nice to have other people rocking your stuff. Those people have circles that I'm not involved in, and those people that they see in those circles, they may ask, where'd you get that shirt? Whose shirt is that? What is do mode? You never know. So it was worth me going all the way back home, sitting in traffic again on the way back to put my shirt on. That's how much it should mean to you. Well, that's how much it means to me. I don't know how much it should mean to you, but that's how much it meant to me. And I sold a couple shirts because of it. And now I'm here. My friends took a ride out to Brooklyn tonight. They went out to the club and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna come back home. I'm actually gonna edit some videos. I got another simple message video that's gonna be out on Monday. And that's my night. I had fun today. It wasn't all about do mode and all this stuff, but you're a walking billboard, like I said. If you're not gonna rock your stuff, who else will? Just a message for me to you. If you haven't already gotten your shirt, go hashtag dumo.com, go to the shop, check out the new flavors. And if, even if you don't buy a shirt, maybe someone else you know might like it. Or at the very least, check out hashtag dumo.com. Check out our latest Chase Your Passion project. And uh, we also got videos and articles for you to binge on. 
So you can easily spend an hour or two on there just looking at the content alone. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend the rest of my night, my rest of my Saturday night in my living room, my office, working on do mode stuff. This is all I think about nowadays. Hashtag do mode.